What a day, people. What a day. My gosh, there is some deals to be had out there. Deserved a nice beer and a nice, very, very rare bottle opener <laughs> to uh, finish the day off with. Cheers. Oh, man. First off, uh, channel updates. Um, I got a video to edit tonight on my screwdriver organization. Finished that today. So you might see that in the morning. And um, what else do I got? I still got to test my uh, rigid uh, stuff out, but it's just one of those deals where you get a, you get a brand new tool and uh, just don't have the jobs in to actually get good use out of the tool. It happens every time. So I need to get some stuff in to get good use out of those rigids. Now that I got the 3.0, at least I can get you something to compare to there and uh, a few other things too. But uh, let's get on down to this uh, awesome deal. 44 bucks on the uh, Knipex set here. And I don't need these two, but I got it for the pouch. I always wanted to see what the pouch is about. So we're gonna get in to this and take a look at the pouch. Um, one thing I noticed, I went to two Home Depots today after work. They are clearing out their 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 hand tool section kind of. There's like little spots here and there. The the uh, Milwaukee blades are getting like clearanced out. Uh, the channel locks getting cleared out. So this Knipex, I really hope they don't clear it out all the way till they they lose their shelf, shelf space. Hopefully they stay still maintain the shelf space, but all the shelves are just emptying out completely. So. I'd be kind of a bummer. Um, I've got a lot of comments so far on um, people saying they, they they never even seen Knipex at the, at their depot. So I have one of the very few rare Home Depots, I guess, that uh, sell Knipex. So it's like this, the water pump pliers, uh, the the wrenches, adjustable wrenches, and all that. About usually average about three or four items per Home Depot that I have. About three Home Depots in my area area that have them. So. Um, yeah, getting on to the aisle, all the way down that aisle, that hand tool aisle, it's weird. Uh, some of the Husky tools are getting cleared out. Um, I don't know what they're doing at the Home Depots. It could be just a Father's Day thing or something. So definitely keep an eye on that in your Home Depot. So um, check out my stories on Instagram. Uh, I kind of went through all the deals and all the sales. Good stuff. It's full blown today, June 11th, for the Father's Day stuff. So definitely keep an eye on your Home Depot. So... Uh, with that, let's get on in to this uh, set. 59 bucks is still a good price at Home Depot. And it's right there within your reach. No shipping, nothing. You just grab it and go home. Um, definitely should have the same warranty. I'm not sure if you have to go through Knipex to warranty at Home Depot. You get the 10 inch water pump pliers and the eight inch diagonal cutter and a bag. Doesn't look like too big of a bag, but uh, we'll get on in here. This is the SKU number. It's still sold online. I did check, it's 59 bucks online. Um, and showed $44 at the other store, but they didn't have it. At the other store I went to right after, they had uh, uh, water pump pliers, not the water pump pliers, the, uh, the adjustable wrench for 27 bucks, I believe. Check out my stories, you'll see them all there if you catch it in enough time. But uh, yeah, good deals around twenty something bucks for the other stuff. Assault, just just single items, and this is the biggest item they sell at Home Depot with the two and the pack. So these are the ten inch and the eight inch right here. Very nice, forty four bucks, and I couldn't walk out of there with one. They had two of these, and they had two channel lock sets for thirty nine bucks. It was a four piece channel lock set. Forgot the number. I'll pipe. I'll put the screen up here at uh, the shot uh if you want if you're not on my instagram boom here it is um you got the channel lock sets nice oh and the if you look at the top of the screen the daredevil bits were 14 dollars at the second store i went to so 16 dollars on the cap the first store 14 dollars at the second store so let's uh open this bad boy up Not 
too hard to open. Just four stickers on each corner. Looks like some oil there from the diagonal cutters. Um, let's see, this is the actual part number here. This is kind of hard to find. I looked everywhere and Home Depot shows up right away. It's the 9K008024 US. And this packaging is kind of uh, different. I've noticed it only at the Home Depot. I don't know if they're coming up like this everywhere or it's a Home Depot exclusive. It was a limited run. That's my guess on that. And uh, yeah, the ever infamous Knipex. And if you're not familiar with the Knipex, <laughs> you better get yourself familiar with one soon because uh, yeah, these are awesome pliers. They do not let go. I've been bugging them for them to give me a, uh, a demonstration uh, setup for this so I can show you. It's the one where they, they clamp it on a pole, little pole setup, and they step on it and uh, they show you how it locks down and won't let go and it shows you how to uh, let go of it. It's, uh, many positions here, super wide. It's the 10 inch is a good average to get if you want to get the 10 inch definitely the 87 01 250 250 is 250 millimeters which is the 10 inch and 8 inch 200 so the last few digits on Knipex is always the, the length of the uh, actual unit and then these are all the other uh, kind of IP numbers for the for their parts these are awesome I should have these I might have the bent ones I'm not 100 percent sure but I have one that's very similar to this Made in Germany, got the Made in Germany stamp right there. And um, one another thing to know about Knipex is if you purchase the the tool truck brand, you have the full blown warranty on the jaws. So if they wear down, the tool truck will warranty for you. But if they wear down, like right now, the way I bought it, um, it's not covered under warranty because it's regular wear and tear. So keep that in mind. Very nice set chrome vanadium piano wire up to i'm guessing that yeah piano wire up to 2.5 millimeters is what it'll cut another made in germany logo right there nice knipex right there and you do notice with the uh tool truck companies a lot of times the knipex stays in the back so you know it, it is a knipex made in germany stamped here on these and there's many versions available on this and you see the push button sticks out right here that far. Just simple up and down. Not an auto lock. There's auto lock ones too. And there you go. This has more of a textured grip on it. Oh, it is self locking, but I've always had it just where it's just. Wherever you leave the button, it goes. You have to go all the way. Yeah. Here, we'll get this down. We'll get this down. Come on. Just being stubborn. But you get my gist. Self locking, but I, I always like to. Com whenever I use these, I compare them to what I got to use and just, just go from there. Still simple, simple. So there we go. Got our pliers. This is just a deal video, so I don't want to go too far into these. Keep your stuff together in a Knipex keeper. <laughs> a great bag for your money, toys, <laughs> papers, parts, supplies, lunch, <laughs> lottery tickets. <laughs> Oh yeah, bottle openers, <laughs> nice, and oh yeah, tools. Gotta leave it up to Knipex with their comedy right here. <laughs> a lot of times you'll see a lot of uh, advertisements where the, the birds feeding the little birds. It comes down, comes down out of the sky, feeds the little birdies. <laughs> ah, Knipex. All right, the diagonal cutter, 20% easier cutting due to high leverage design, unique heavy duty forged on axle superior versus superior strength, 
no break-in period needed. Smooth operation from the start. And then the Cobra 10-inch water pump pliers. Push button adjustment directly on the workplace. Adjust once it stays set. Self-locking means no slipping off the workpiece. Ah, that's what it is. So this is not self-locking. This The self-locking is on the piece, on the teeth, self-locking. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. Shows how much I use these. No. <laughs> I do use them all. I get a fresh pair now. There. I'll probably compare my used ones compared to this one maybe later on. But yeah, this will be my fresh pair right here. And um, grips, any shaped object, round, square, hex, flat, thin heads, fits into tight places. Yeah, these are very thin, as you can see. Super nice and locking. <laughs> so where we can fit this jaw in, you can uh, get a strip bolt out. This thing is a life, yeah, this thing is a lifesaver for mechanics. Yes, indeed. Let's look at the pouch finally the main piece why i got this looks like an inspection number there ah. pretty nice it's like an electrician's pouch that's a basic uh zipper there oh nice and uh waterproof coating on the inside Right on, put your tools in there. These have plenty of space in there. Super nice. Well, there you go. I don't wanna go too far on this video. Uh, I got another video to edit. And uh, yeah, definitely keep an eye on those deals at Home Depot. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. And cheers, on to the next one. Thank <laughs> you.